Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. If your Google Chrome ran out of memory and you're getting this uh, oh snap error, this is a very common problem in Google Chrome and we are going to fix it by only three simple steps. It will be very easy to follow and anyone can follow it. All right, so open your Google Chrome and at the top right corner where we have these three dots, click on that. Once you do that, there will be many options and we need to go to the settings and here we have this privacy and security. So we just need to click on that privacy and security and the first option will say clear browsing data. This is the first step and please make sure you do it in a sequence wise to make it more effective. So I'll click on that. And the moment I click on that, we will get this uh, basic and advanced. So here you can go to simply basic and click all time and select the browsing history, cookies and other side data, cache images. All these are junk, which you can get it from your advanced section as well. So either you can go to basic, do the check mark and clear data or you can simply go to advanced uh, just check mark the few things which you need leave uh, other things as right and then you can simply click on clear data so I have selected browsing history download history cookies and cache images so all these things will be almost 1 GB and it will be freed from the computer so this will not take much time and it hardly took i mean five seconds to do so and here at the left hand side we have this extensions and click on that and look for any unwanted extensions if you see any extension which you do not use it you can simply click on remove like that so in this google chrome we don't have uh, i mean in my google chrome i don't have any extension which i um, do not know but if you think that you have unknown extensions you can search about it and then you can simply remove it so this will actually you know um, put off the load from your Google Chrome the performance the speed will be better if you do that once this is done close this window and here please make sure if any other application is running if it's running what happens you have a 8 gigabytes of ram 4 gb ram 6 gb ram 12 gb ram but you have opened so many windows so many tabs and your whole computer resources i mean ram processor is getting used by another application so that's why google chrome will not be able to you know run properly so whenever you use your computer please make sure you have minimum applications opened all right so that's a very good practice even i do whenever i do my work i make sure that i do not have uh, any unwanted application opened right now because i do not want those application to resource my computer i mean use my, uh, the resources of my computer once this is done we can disable some startup items and we will remove some temporary files some junk from the computer this will also um, i mean help to increase the speed of google chrome so for that you just need to do a right click and click on run and type clean mgr like that and once you have typed it click on ok and this will open up the disk cleanup utility so this is a very easy step and you can do it and it is really satisfying uh, you can do the check mark on all all these are junk which is making your computer slow and also taking up the space so with this step you can also free up the space faster PC and you can uh, fix your Google Chrome issue as well so this is a very good thing just do the check mark I do not have much junk here in this computer but in your computer you might have 20 30 or maybe 40 GB of junk sitting there and making your computer slow so I'll just click on OK and I'll click on delete 
so i'm slowly and gradually removing all the junk all the unnecessary you know things from my computer to make my computer faster as well as my google chrome faster once this is done we will move to the next step so here what you need to do is click on the search icon and type cmd and then run as administrator so we will also scan the whole computer if we have any glitch any problem in the windows so for that we will run the sfc system file checker command and this will help a lot so here we need to type sfc forward slash scan now now this process might take five seven or ten minutes but this will definitely help if you have any issues in your windows this will fix the problem as well as google chrome issues other updating issues windows update issues and if you're getting some errors this will fix the problem so any which way it is a good practice to do do this scan and you can let it do the uh, complete verification and this will scan and fix the problem once this is done you can close this window and you can click on the search icon and type windows space update and here you have this windows update settings and you can check for all the latest updates you can see i have a new uh, version 22h264 based system windows 11 version and there is a available i mean the update is available so i always update my computer for better performance and you can see it is downloading the updates and it might take one to two minutes or maybe five minutes to download the whole update in your case it might take hours if you have not done the update so i would recommend to download and install all the latest updates to ensure your computer is running faster smoother and without any errors all right so you can also do that and guys if you're uh, if you want to faster i mean make your pc faster um more if you want if you're looking for more steps i would recommend to watch this tutorial at the end of this video and that will be very helpful for you you can watch that and make your computer in a brand new condition again all right i hope you have enjoyed this very short tutorial guys please hit the like and subscribe i really need your support guys if you haven't done that please do so and please leave a comment that how's the video and if you want any other tutorial you can let me know in the comment section and i'll make sure that i create the video on that particular issue all right you have a wonderful day i'll see you in the next tutorial take care goodbye